हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू ट्रिग्नोमेट्री पार्ट सिक्स इज ब्रॉट यू बाय एग्जाम फियर डॉट कॉम नो मोर फियर फ्रॉम एग्जाम बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव वॉच पार्ट वन टू पार्ट फाइव फिल्टर एग्जाम्पल द ट्राइंगल ए बी सी राइट एंगल एट बी इफ टेन एज डिफाइन दैल्यू ऑफ साइन ए कॉस सी प्लस कॉस ए साइन सी दिस इज द रिल ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन बिकॉज हेयर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट साइन ए कॉस सी द डिफरेंट एंगल वी टॉकिंग अबाउट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड परपेंडिकुलर एंड बेस फॉर एंगल ए एंड परपेंडिकुलर एंड बेस फॉर एंगल सी ऑल्सो सो इन दिस ट्राइंगल दिस विल बी हाइपरस ऑलवेज वी कंसिडर ए एंगल एज फ्रेम ऑफ रेफरेंस दिस इज परपेंडिकुलर सो दिस इज परपेंडिकुलर देन ए इज द फ्रेम ऑफ रेफरेंस एंड द एडजन साइड इज दिस सो दिस इज द बेस वेन ए इज द फ्रेम ऑफ रेफरेंस when we take c as the frame of reference this side becomes perpendicular the opposite side so this is perpendicular when c is the frame of reference and this will become base because of the adjacent side so this becomes base when c is frame of reference correct now we have to find sin a cos c so let's use the formula pandit badri prashad hari hari bol this is sin this is cos This is tan, correct? So sine a will be equal to p by h, p by h. Here now we got p of a because I'm taking a as the frame of reference, right? So this becomes b c by, or I'll say p of a by c is b c by a c. Before I go ahead, I have given that tan a is equal to one by three, two three. So I have to find all the sides, right? Correct. So tan a is equal to one by two three. So tan a is nothing but p by p. So tan a is equal to p of a by p is equal to one by two three. So if I assume p of a is one, this length if I assume as one, this length that is. Uh, B A, right? B A, P A by B A, B A. This A B that will become root three. Correct. Why? Because tan A is one by root three is given. So if I assume this length as one, this length will become root three. So A C we can find. So A C will be nothing but root of A B square plus B C square. That is root of a b square is nothing but root three square plus b c square is one square. That is root of three plus one. That is root of four. That is two. So a c will be two. Hypotenuse is two. Correct. Now we'll again go back to this this uh, equation. Sin a was b c by a c. So b c was one, and a c is two. So I got sin a. Correct. Similarly, I can get sine b. Sine b is again p by h. P p b by h. H is same anyway. It's h a or h b. So I can take actually. So what is p b? Sorry, p of c. I'm talking about sine c here. Sine c. Correct. So p of c by h. So p of c is root three. And h is two. So this is root three by two. So I've got this. I've got this. I have to find cos a and cos c now, right? So I'm taking out cos a. Cos a is nothing but b by h. This is b of a by h. Why? Because I'm talking about angle a. What is b of a? Root three. And h is two. Similarly, cos c is nothing but b of c by h. That is this value one. And h is two. So I have all the values: sine a, sine c, cos a, cos c. So now I'll use this equation. This becomes right. This is nothing but sine a cos c plus cos a sine c. Sine a is what? One by two into one by two into cos c is what? One by two plus cos a is root three by two. And sine c is again root three by two. 
this becomes 1 by 4 plus root 3 into root 3, 3, 2 into 2, 4, that is 4 by 4, that is 1, and that is my answer. What we have done, we, we saw that here sin A cos C, cos A sin C, it's two angle A and C are involved. So what we have done, for angle A as frame of reference, we found perpendicular and base. For angle C as frame of reference, we found base perpendicular. We were told that tan A is equal to 1 by root 3. So we found all the sides of the triangle. And thus we found sin A, sin C, cos A, cos C. We placed the values and got the answer. The next question says that in triangle PQR, right angle at Q, PR plus QR is equal to 25 and PQ is 5 by the value of sin P, cos P and tan P. So it is triangle PQR, right angle at Q. So let us make this as Q. Okay, this is again as P. And let me make this as R. So I have PQR triangle now. Right angle at Q. PQ is equal to 5 centimeter. This is 5. PR plus QR is equal to 25 centimeter. So if I assume this is X, this is 25 minus X. Correct? Why? Because X plus 25 minus X is 25. That is given. So I have three sides. I have to find the value of sin p cos p and tan. To find the value of sin p cos p tan p, I should know the value of x. So let me apply the Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem says that pr square is equal to pq square plus rq square, hypotenuse square, or x square is equal to pq square is pi square plus 25 minus x square. To solve this, this becomes 25 plus 25 square is 625 plus x square minus 2 into 25 x that is minus 50 x. x square and here x square cancel. What we get is 50 x is equal to 625 plus 25 that is 50 or I get x is equal to 650 by 50 and that turns out to be 30. So I got this as 30. And this is 25 minus 13, that is 12. Correct? So I've got all the length. Now, life is very simple. I'm talking about angle P. This will be hypotenuse anyway. Since I'm talking about angle P, this side is base because adjacent side, and this side will be perpendicular. Correct? So let me use the mantra, same mantra. Pandit Badri Prashad Hari Hari Bol This is sine, this is cos and this is tan I want to find sine, cos and tan So sine P is equal to P by H What is the value of P? 12 What is the value of H? 13 This is my sine Cos P is equal to B by H B by H here if you see. So this becomes B by H. B is what? B is 5 and H is 30. Similarly, tan P is equal to P by B. If you see here, this is P by B. What is P? 12 B 5. So it is 12 by and this is my answer. I found all the value of sine, cos, and tan. See, in most of the question, what we have to do? First, you have to find the length of the sides of the triangle. If you are able to find the length of the side of the triangle, you can find any trigonometric equation. Here also, what we have done? It was x, and this side was 25 minus x. We used Pythagoras theorem to find the value of x. That is PR and QR. So once we have the length of the side of the triangle, we could easily find all the trigonometric ratio. Let's say where the following statement are true or false. The value of tan is always less than 1. This statement, if you see, this is a triangle and this is P, this is B, let's suppose, this is theta angle. 
So tan theta is nothing but p by b. So we can have a triangle that has very big p and very small b. So in this case, tan theta will be greater than 1. And if we have a triangle like this, this is theta, this is p and b, right? So there, tan theta will be less than 1. So tan theta can always be, can be greater than 1 or less than 1. So this is a false statement. It is not always less than 1. Sec A is equal to 12 by 5 for some angle. So what we can do is, let's have this triangle theta. Correct. Sec theta is, again we can use the formula Pandit Padri Prashad. Hare Hare Go. So sin. This is cos. This is tan. And this is sec. So sec is h by b. So sec theta is nothing but h by b. And this is equal to 12 by 5. Correct? So this is theta. This is h. This will be b because the adjacent side and this will be b. If we assume h to be 12, b will be 5. Correct. So if you can find some value of p, that means there is a triangle. Right triangle which satisfies this. To find the value of p, what we can do is, so p will be equal to P square will be h square minus b square. Correct? In the right triangle, h square minus b square will be b square. And that comes out to be 12 square minus pi square. And if you see, this will be a positive quantity. So this will have some value. So it will have some value that means this statement is true. That means for some value of a, say a can be 12 by 5. So what we have done, we have just assumed a triangle where sec theta is equal to 12 over 5, so h will be 12 and b will be 5. And we found that we can really find some value of p, some positive value of p. And thus we can see that this triangle exists. Had this been 5 by 12, then h would have become 5 and b would have become 12. Then if you would have found p, p would have come out to be negative, which is not possible. So in that case, you could have told that sec a is equal to 5 by 12 doesn't exist for any value of a. But for 12 by 5, it exists. Cos a is the abbreviation of cosine of a? No. Cosine of a is cosec a. This is cosec, not cos. This is no. Cot of a is the product of cot and a? No. Totally logical statement. Cot a. I mean, we don't say cot A is equal to cot into A. We never say. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.